What happened to mankind? Suffering, pain, suffering, pain, suffering. Terrible things 400,000 years long. Here's the only place for nature's scientific truth, for the truth, because everything else is error. If you want to go on living in your error, errors so uh, you can stop this show but if you want to learn about the truth that the best nature scientists found out then stay here so today we are talking about here 20 reforms could of the World's Council and of the next scientists for future could heal the world, but all live in errors. Greta Thunberg, Donald Trump, Fridays for Future, uh, they are all searching solutions where they can never be found. Yes? So, some so let's talk about, uh, uh, yeah, what happened to mankind? Let's take a look here. So I make it very short, as short as I can. 13.8 billion of years, 10 billion of years, 5 billion of billions of years. Big Bang, Milky Way, our galaxy, developed, and our sun system developed, and here f life, DNA, DNA, and life grew up, and then we make a big jump to 65 millions. We move from 3,000 millions. Yep. What happened? From 3,000 millions, we moved to 65 millions of years. So we are here, 65 millions. Uh, dying of the din dinosaurs rising of the, me the mammals, our direct grandmothers and grandfathers, going up to the trees, walking around the trees, growing, getting bigger. And here we are, 13.8 millions of years, so we are here. Certain not millions of years walking upright on the on the on parts of the trees where you can walk up upright uh, in an upright position and here walking on the ground in an upright position here like gorillas aggressive, jealous grandfathers and grandmothers of us, of ourselves, of our us, of ourselves. Um, and here, four million ago, years ago, our grandmothers and grandfathers left their big aggressive teeth they uh, the before they had teeth like lions uh, and so they they lost such uh, big teeth that means no jealousy anymore no aggression anymore development in direction of pacifism, of peace all over. Then 
2.5 million years ago the first st stone knives were produced, the first stone hammers were this, uh, produced. Maybe here our grandmothers lost their furs, their hairs, their, uh, the, we, we, we got a, a skin like today. And here, about here, two million years ago, men and women got nearly the same size and weight. And here, one million years ago, and here we are, 400,000 years ago, here, 400,000 years ago, our grandfathers and grandmothers invented giving one thing to the other and giving, uh, getting another thing, uh, another thing back. And then they made it to a profession. So it was a business. I give you something, you give me something. Yes? This invention to make a business out of it killed us. Huh? Um, so we have here free market and free forms of working together. And this means uh, that every error, some errors, some errors, uh, produced success. Some er errors meant advantages. Errors should never, never, never mean advantages. But under conditions of free market and free forms of working together, uh, uh, these terrible things happen. Not true, this brought success, but errors brought more success. And this killed us. Yeah? And so we had here uh, 100,000 100, years ago, um, we, our grandmothers left Africa and spread all over the world, but slowly, slowly, 20 years, five kilometers. So it was not some, some walking around the earth. It was slowly, slowly spreading 20 years, maybe fi five kilometers. And if you take a lot of time, then you reach the last point of the, the Earth. Um, and so we are here, 100,000 years. And then uh, maybe 10,000 years ago, we, uh, yeah, maybe in this time here, here, 30,000 years ago, we had a maximum of brain. The brain size grew because the damage of free market and free forms of working together didn't stop the growth of the brain immediately. It slowed it down and then the ten, uh, it turned. It turned maybe 40,000, 30,000 years ago. We had 1.5 liters, and then we went down to 1.3, uh, uh, 
five liters only. We left zero dot one five liters because of free market and free forms of working together. So and about here began the development of agriculture, of uh, farming and uh, with, with, with animals and with uh, monocultures with, uh, with uh, on, on uh, yeah, with uh, with always the same uh, products standing uh, together and so on, and our food became more and more dangerous and more and more unnatural. Yeah. So and. So we have pain, suffering, pain, suffering, pain, suffering without end. Diseases, 10,000 years ago, the people got smaller because of the, the dangerous food. And they got, we had get, got the first, uh, yes, uh, diseases all over the people. We, we, we got the first epidemic situations uh, yeah I don't know the word in German it's Seuchen the Aston Seuchen the first uh, epidemic pandemic diseases because our immune systems were so weak because of the poisonous food poisoned food yes so we take a look at other pictures. So once again, 13.8 million gorillas with big teeth and fur uh, on the trees mostly, not on the ground as in the gorillas nowadays. Uh, walking upright, brain about let's say half a li uh, half half liter liter uh, half a liter of brain volume and this here maybe uh, 2.5 millions stone stone nice brain is cr beginning to grow because this with instruments, so people could feed bigger brains, so it began to grow. Maybe here, 400,000 years ago, without fur, without hairs, specialized hands for working with techniques, with technical things, uh, brain one maybe one dot two liters about something about this then invention of free market and free forms of working together the brain still grows and the body still grows and here at 40 or 30 thousand years ago our grandfathers is a, is a damage by uh, by uh, advantage bringing errors or success bringing errors was so grown so big that the, it changed the direction changed and here now we uh, have one dot three five liters of brain volume we got we are getting stupid all over and smaller because uh, here ten thousand years ago the the food began to produce smaller bodies the poison uh, poison po uh, yes the poisoned uh, food uh, and the the the, the, the unnatural food produced smaller bodies 
and smaller brains and this will be the future of us all are getting fat all over fat fat and ill uh, sick and uh, ill and uh, uh, with osteoporosis I don't know the name in German it's called osteoporose and they will walk around uh, with rollator with, with rollators with with instruments and they are stupid uh, and they are, are non-intelligent and they are fat and ill and sick this will be the future of mankind if we don't take those 20 reforms of the next scientists for future.de all written in one word so let's take a look here and what about those uh, yes those uh, yeah, advantage bringing errors water sorry yes normally in, in evolution truth brings advantages but the law natural law of mutation and selection or variation and selection produces necessarily produces errors and some of the, the errors are important and imagine here a free of an early doctor and early trader or early shop let's say an early shop and an early doctor's shop yeah? and uh, he says and he believes he, he's living in errors yeah he says oh you can eat uh, modern not natural food it doesn't matter he's living in error and what makes you sick or ill are very mighty little things like we call later we call them viruses or bacteria and so on and he really believes they are like Godzilla and like Tyrannosaurus Rex very mighty killers he lives in error in, in errors he believes in in wrong ide ideas he makes mistakes yeah so but because the people eat the wrong things they get very often ill and they buy a lot of his treatments and of his products and of his vaccines and so on and tests and so on and he gets a lot of yeah he, success and so he can feed two children three grandchildren and so on he can uh, he will be very successful and all his uh, oh yeah he is uh, uh, all there very big shops develop very big universities of doctor medical doctors develop and and so and they are all full of those advantage bringing errors yes and this kills us did kill us 400,000 years ago and will kill us later. So we need to change change it. We, we must give rewards to, tr to people with truths, truths with, with, uh, with re realistic ideas. And we must stop giving donations and rewardings 
two errors and mistakes and wrong ideas. So we must turn it around. How we do it? So next scientists for future have a lot of ideas how we can do it, feel good notes and so on. We, I, I want to keep it short. Uh, we must, in it, it doesn't matter how, but we must turn it around so that here the, the success uh, people only with realistic ideas get economic success and will can feed a lot of children and the others with the errors and with the mistakes and the wrong ideas they should get no economic success anymore and this is what the next scientists for future and the world council can do in this 20 reforms so and there, please, our billionaire kings, our political kings, our journalistic kings, please, it's your life. You can, the next scientist for future can donate you, can, yes, give you thousand times more happiness in your life, thousand times more health in your life, thousand times more, uh, uh, yes, yeah, longer life, not thousand, thousand times, uh, to a ma maximum of 107, uh, 127 years. And no one should try to live longer than 100 27 years, but this you can get from the those 127 healthy years you can get from the next scientists for future. Some water, sorry. Uh, yes, Greta, we must talk about. Yeah, and what happened? 400,000 years ago, ago, we were the genetically, we were the second Bonobo. And like the Bonobos, we're living in Bonobo communis communism. We were the, the Bonobo is the, is the first Bonobo is living in the woods, in the forests, and we were living in the savannah, in the via grass, uh, in the f regions where a lot of grass is, and uh, maybe at the water too, and so on, and we lived here in maybe in groups, maximum 120 people, uh, women, men, children, and the men donated everything they found to the beloved women and children. Yeah. Oop. What happened here? This is crazy. Uh, and then the daughters. Mm, something is crazy today. <laughs> And the daughters left uh, as, as, uh, uh, maybe at an age of 10 or 11 or 12, 12 or 13, left uh, their groups and went to the, uh, in one of those other neighbor, neighborhood uh, groups. And then they began to have uh, bodily contact uh, with all here and they love each other and so they uh, here uh, are living the grandchildren of, of them here. Yeah? And then they make visits and make big parties and have a lot of fun together and bodily contact and so 
And so they were living all happy without wars, without violence. And then the free market and free forms of working together destroyed this. Yeah, because uh, um, no one, uh, yes, uh, a man doesn't donate all he finds to the women and, and to the children when the sex in the Bonneview com communism is no longer good. So, no interest. Yeah, and so the ma the man began to uh, care for power and accumulation, and uh, m later money. Money was was developed about forty to thirty thousand years ago. Money was uh, uh, coming up. Huh? Yes, and yeah, and with the reforms, so. Mankind lost, tot uh, totally lost his its happiness. The happiness comes from this peaceful love, of, uh, life of uh, full of love and full of bodily contact and sex and so on. And the people were totally happy here. Uh, and yes, this uh, will. Yeah, there is a possibility that this comes back, but only by the next scientist for future. And then we have so so we have two big errors: free market and free forms of working together. And the third big error is the unrealistic anti-scientific belief that every child is a genius. In reality, evolution is a cruel thing. It always produces differences. So, if we have two parents which have a brain of, let's say, one liter, here, one, one liter brains, yeah, or here, one liter brains, if two are coming together, and have sex and get it get children. Maybe one child has smaller brain, one child has a bigger brain. Maybe one has here a brain and here a brain. But evolution produces always differences. Actively produces differences. And if we have Two persons, no, this is, uh, two persons here with 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 big brains. Here maybe two little brain. Then the one child has a bigger brain. One child has a smaller brain, and so on. This is what evolution does, and this is a fact. But most people don't want to accept those facts yes and this means in a in a state you must care to get so uh, to get the best and the the, uh, the people with the biggest brains from all over the world you you must uh, be uh, invite those people from Africa with big brains to come to Germany, to Europe. You m must invite persons with big brains, billionaires, uh, uh, entrepreneurs, and so on, who who give us jobs and so on. You must the best, uh, the most clever persons with the biggest brain you must invite uh, to a country and uh, so you see racism is foolish. Yeah, We, we must um, uh, live multicultural all the time but always with, uh, with the persons with the biggest brain. 
Yeah. So, but those with the smallest brain, with small brains, you keep, you should keep away from Germany, from Europe, and so on, or from every state. Yeah, every state should try to keep those people with small brains away from him, from them, and. Uh, then a state can survive. Otherwise, it goes the same way as the Roman Empire, which died out. Yes. And in nature, in a Bonobo commune, maybe one, every woman gets a, chi a child, but the mechanisms of the bodies of the Bonimos and human beings are so that the fathers in the commune are only the most, the, those with the biggest brains, the most intelligent, yes? And we should never try to make, build our state, change in our states all things and let those men get children. This kills every state. It takes uh, some time, but uh, after a while it will be dead. And what we do we do uh, with Overcrowding. What do we do with too many people on on the earth? It's a problem. So, sorry, water. So we must allow. We must. Uh, we just take a look. What natural cultures did in evolution. What did they do? Oh, it's crazy today. Sorry. Something is going wrong here. I'd, maybe I try it once again here. Here is some movement here. So let's take this. Maybe now it works now. So In natural cultures, we have only some hints, some, some reports from natural cultures. And say, when a child is not, yeah, is not wanted, say, give it to the nature and let it die there. It's painful for the mothers, but it's better than to cause problems for the whole commune. And yes, this, so, this are the ways. And so we should allow every mother in the world and tell her, your baby belongs to you. Your newborn belongs to you. About one day, 15 hours, we can discuss it. Yeah. And if you don't want it, the state will help that the baby dies without any pain. In total happiness, it will die. This seems to be cruel, but it's it's natural. Yeah. Think about pigs when they get children, and maybe it's there are only four babies, and normal is eight babies or so. They eat those four ba babies because it's not good for pigs to have only four babies. It's not enough. And next time when they get eight babies, they don't eat them. 
so you see nature is a little bit of uh, cruelty uh, has to do something with a little bit of cruelty and we should not think that human beings could make all uh, in an uh, all in a other way that nature does then so states die like the Roman Empire and uh, so and we when we help poor people in the world we should help poor people in the world but we should tell them for uh, you don't get a cent for children you get nothing for children nothing to eat for children and so on we feed the mothers but not the babies so they will decide to let the babies die yes and this will me mean that all those people who are not able to feed themselves those people with small brains they will get yes uh, the number of them will go down and the number of the intelligent people will grow and then this state maybe can survive yeah. and will have success and maybe on the in the world we have less people and will live better uh, will have a better life all over Yes, so we have three big errors. Free market is good. Free forms of working together are good. And every child that is born is a genius. And we must correct them. Yeah. So let's talk it here. Yeah, maybe one idea here. Uh, why did we get war? We, we, we are no gorillas anymore, but why did we f do we fight nowadays? Yeah? Because here we have the first shop living in truth, and we ha here we have a shop, and he tells a story. Here, this, t he, this person tells the right story. Oh, one commune, community, sorry, water. One community visit the other and it was a, a party of love and happiness and sex and so on. And he has problems with the language. He understood oh one group went to the other group and killed them all yes he is in living in an error and he tells his story and the people get fear and buy a lot of his stone axes and primitive weapons because of this fear and they begin to think about how how to kill the neighbors before they kill them. And if the people hear those stories over centuries and thousands of years, it works and they begin with war. Yeah. And what did they do? They bought a lot of weapons and this, this shop could feed two children, three grandchildren and so on and is uh, uh, and all the modern shops are carrying carrying those arrows with them. Yeah? Think about the weapon industry and so on. And so free market and free forms of working together ne necessarily produce wars. Yeah? And so 
many thousand years later we got a lot of wars because of those stories. Not because of the human beings themselves, but because of those stories, of those shops. Yeah. And yeah. So if we wa all wa want to live happily, yes, we need those. Yeah, here. We need those 20 reforms of the next scientists for future and nothing else. And maybe, so it's a fair condition, we should talk about eco good. Just Google for eco good. It's a new economic system. It's a re reform, reforming system too. And maybe you can uh, Google about citizen assemblies about a uh, referendum about yes all forms of new democracy and we could discuss them yeah, together with Greta and Luisa uh, Greta Thunberg and all others prominent persons of of Fridays for Future we should talk about uh, those reforms, but my, I'm afraid uh, maybe Greta Thunberg and Fridays for Future are not intelligent and educated enough to understand those 20 reforms and that this is the only chance for mankind huh? for healing the world, for heal the world. Yeah, because all are living in errors and Donald Trump doesn't understand that free market and free forms of working together has to be stopped immediately. And this is the problem of the world. Yeah. So, let's see what I have here. Sh some short news. Yes, on the on the channel news und talks, not news and talks. Change the A to a new news und talks. It's German. You find on this channel, you f it's something like in German we would say a mediatek. It's yeah, where you can watch television with the 700 most important uh, and most realistic shows of the world. Uh, some of them are in English and some most of them are in German. And if you click all, uh, through all uh, things, you go to the homepage of nextscientistsforfuture.de and so on. You you find the way can find the way to six home pages if you click on everything you find and read everything you find and so on you can find all. Yeah, and let's some um, say some words to Corona. Corona. Every good scientist scientist knows that we must always look for control groups. I think, I hope it's right. So we have countries with, with lockdowns, Peru, yeah, with a lock, big lockdown, and many dead people. And we have control groups like Belarus, White Russia, Weißrussland, and we have Sweden, as a, par a part of a contr uh, partly control group, um, uh, as something in between, let's say, and in Belarus, Rus, we have the the lowest number of so-called corona deaths. So we see t to ignore corona is the best, 
and to care about corona will kill many people. This is. And, so, and then we have little Belarus. We have had all over the world, we had demonstrations. Black Lives Matter, anti-corona demonstrations without masks, uh, without masks and without distancing. And after those little Belarus events, we should have, if it is a kill killer virus, we should have, if it were a killer virus, we should have many old dead people after those demonstrations. But they didn't come. So we must say maybe it's a strong flu, but nothing else. In Sweden, if it were a strong killer, we should have three millions, more than three millions of so-called corona deaths. But we have now 5,800 so-called corona deaths. So, where is the killer? We don't see it. If we think scientifically, we must understand that maybe our doctors kill the people, our uh, our mesh, uh, our yes, yes, our our yeah, all the things with with which we try to fight against corona that they kill. Maybe the things we want to help them breathing. Maybe those machines kill kill the people, but Corona in, in, in Belarus did not kill. It's just, uh, yes, in Corona, in, in, white, uh, in Belarus, yeah, maximum, uh, let's say, a strong flu, influenza, strong influenza, but no reason for lockdowns and shut da shutdowns and uh, something else. So, I hope everything is clear. So, you only hear at the World Council. So, dear Greta, this is the only chance to heal the world and to heal the climate and so and to your wishes can only, your dreams can only come true by the next scientists of future. So cooperate. If you don't do it, nothing will happen. Suffering and pain will go on endlessly. Yeah, own, uh, truth you can only find on one, uh, at one place in the world, the World's Council of Wise People, Weltrat, the next scientists for future, .de, and in the rest of the world, you find only errors, mistakes, wrong ideas. Yeah, enough for today, for this Sunday. So, I think it was, so this was it. Have a nice day.